Depends on trying to figure a scribble I could let loose Dodging the dribble that they trying to throw my way I think I figured that them figures out to get you Let them pull the strings that trigger what you say Think it's difficult to get out on my brain I wish life went in any other way But it's all side roads to nowhere And I can find a map that seemed to mark my place My heart frigid when it's sit inside that cold air That exists between our lack of shit to say But I always want What's up fam? David Spade here. I know what you're thinking to yourself. How do you keep that amazing physique? Well, let me give you a little insider info. I don't work out. But that's not the point. The point is famous Amos cookies are amazing. I love these things. Today, we're going to be talking about an interesting move the diagonal palm shift DPS so let's just uh, get into it right now <laughs> let's just go DPS that I first saw written up was written in expert at the card table by Swordnaze the homie and he wrote up a bunch of other moves in there but diagonal palm shift is something that a lot of people tend to stick to and, and latch on to along with the classic passage which is kind of weird they're two totally separate moves, but the DPS is, uh, is better for a lot of different things. And I think sometimes, like the past, DPS is overused or used for the wrong reason. People use it for a control, but I think it's really just a way to steal out a card. Either way, I'm going to show you how to do both. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how to steal it out and use it as a control and replace a card. I don't know. I don't really have much to say. Let's just start the tutorial. Right, guys, so let's go into the DPS. So there's a few things that you're gonna have to learn how to do. One is get an in jog from a card that you're pushing through the deck and then steal it out in a way that is pretty hidden so that you can palm off the card. That's why it's called a diagonal palm shift because of the way the card is moved out of the deck. Let's start with how to get the card through the deck. So this is the first thing that you're gonna have to learn how to do right here. And uh, that, kind of out jogs the card now some people think it should be like this but actually it ends up like this which is just fine and then from there you're going to steal out the card and there you go so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial practice it and i'll see you guys in the next video and i just wanted to say thank you thank you i'm a scrub but you still love me you love me all right, so for those of you who are still here, let's talk about how to do this. This is called a, a push through, like a, I guess some people called it like a clivet or a pivot or whatever. Uh, but basically what's gonna happen is this card is going to go through the deck like this, and then it's gonna come straight back and you're gonna end up there outside of the deck. So this is what is happening. I'll try to expose this as much as I can. I'm gonna put my thumb of my hand that's not touching the deck close to the pad of my thumb on the, on the hand that is touching the deck. So it's gonna be about here. The other thing I'm gonna do is put my middle finger on the edge of this card as I'm pushing it in and I'm just gonna push straight down. What that's gonna do is lever this card out automatically. So I'll try to do this as exposed as possible. And as you can see, see how the card is automatically pivoting? That's what you want. So thumb goes here, and next finger goes in line with that thumb, and you push straight down. You'll see a lot of people, they'll do stuff like this, where they come up this way and then do it, and man, does that look really bad. Or they'll take their index finger, and they'll do this, and they'll push this down. Again, it just looks really bad. Step one, thumb near the pad of the uh, other thumb and now the middle finger is going to come straight up push straight down and you're going to end up in this position just like this okay so that's step one step two is that this hand underneath that's holding the deck is going to flatten out and the thumb and the pinky of the other hand are going to pull that card down like this Okay, so what I'm saying with the hand flattening out is this. This is the action that's happening underneath the deck. So the card gets pushed in. Now the hand flattens out as you pull the card down. Now you don't stop here, okay? This is the position you're in. If you wanna complete the DPS, 
from here, your pinky is going to start to pull down as your hand continues to ride that card back until it gets almost into a palm. You end up like this. From here, you just relax the fingers and you're in a palm. What you wanna to try to avoid is what you see a lot of people doing where they start with their finger here and then they get down to here and then they, they do this like, I don't know what you would call that, but you don't wanna do that. Card gets pushed down, angled across, hand flattens out. You see my pinky, <laughs> I'm trying to do this as best as I can. The pinky's pulling this card down until it's in the palm position, then the fingers just relax around it. So I'll do it from a really high angle here. This goes to here, pivots into the palm, hand relaxes. Before we get into what to do afterwards, let's just focus on this one action real quick. Just practice that over and over. Just get that card to there, pull in, and just do that over and over. The next step is what to do with this thumb. Uh, I've seen some people, uh, Jason England likes, uh, when I saw him mentioning the DPS, he likes to roll his thumb over the thumb holding the deck. So as this card goes into here, this thumb will come over this thumb and finish the palm. And I, if that's what you wanna do, that's fine. I don't do that. I just kind of relax my whole hand. So this goes to here and then it just drops. I know why he's saying that. And it's actually a good reason because a lot of people when they're palming in general, they, 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 they do this. So I like to just keep my thumb on the side of the deck. It comes down to here. Now it's off the deck and I just relax. So practice that action. Just keeping the thumb on the deck, never letting go, not popping up. If you want to go over the thumb, you should check out his video on the diagonal palm shift. I think it's on Theory 11. Jason England, he's got some great work on it. So that goes to here. And that's about it. What to do with the deck. Now, what I like to do is either hand the deck out to be shuffled or on the table. So it's like two opposing actions. This hand comes back. This hand goes forward. And this hand just drops. See that? So as you pull out the card, card comes out hand just drops and you hand them the deck to shuffle or you put it down on the table. You can even do it sideways as well. So you could go from here to here and just pass that off. So just go here, boom, and drop it. Let's talk about some ways to cover it. I mean, that's one way. Another way is to just relax, right? So you can just come to here and now you just stop for a second. You're just playing with the deck and now you just put it down and you bring your hands up and you can kind of hold it underneath the deck. You don't have to do anything with it right away. Just relax. It's like a, a palm, a regular palm. In fact, I've done another video on the palm. So if you'd like to learn more about the palm, you can check out uh, this little thing that's gonna pop up right there. I did that video with my boy Caramel, who also streams with me on my new channel. So be sure to check that out as well. Link in the description below. You hear the birds? It's a beautiful day. Let's talk about some ways to replace the card if you happen to need to replace the card. Once this card is in a palm, it's basically in a bottom palm, there's lots of things you can do. One of the things I like to do is to take my pinky and just pivot it just like this as I'm grabbing the deck. So this goes to here, pinky comes down and I add it to the deck like so. As my hands come up and I'm touching the pack, I just meet the two corners and then my pinky just adds it to the deck. Uh, another thing you can do, which is kind of fun to do also, is you just slap it on your hand, right? <laughs> so you come to here, slap it down, or dribble the cards into your hand. Another hard way to tell that a card's being added. So what's happening there is I'm just going to open my hand as I dribble. So this goes to here. As I start to dribble, I just turn my hand over. There's lots of other things you could do with it. But essentially, this is going to steal a card out for a reason. To add it to something later, uh, to load from a pocket, to steal from uh, a jacket pocket, you know, whatever you want to do. But let's talk about something else that you can do with this, which I think is kind of interesting. And that is to stall the technique. You're going to do the entire thing up until the point where you steal the card out, and then you just stop. And you leave the card here, right behind your hand. Now from here, nobody could see anything really. I mean, unless you do this, if you turn your hand around to here, even up until about there, you really can't see anything because of the shadow of your hand, right? So this is an interesting thing to play with. And then you can just come back to here, play with the deck, steal the card out as you 
put the cards down or something like that. I think it's a fun thing to interrupt the technique. Now this is not something you should be doing right away. I think at first you need to learn how to do this technique smoothly, get the angles of it, get comfortable with doing the move before you jump into all this other stuff. But I do think it is interesting. By the way, you can do this with multiple cards. It makes it a little bit more difficult, but you can do a DPS with multiple cards. Thusly, uh, it does take a little bit more work and a little bit more managing of the cards in your hands, but it can be done. So check that out, practice it, and I hope you enjoy it. And please stay safe out there, guys. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial on the Diagonal Piam Shift. Well, that's about it. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you use it for. Also, please check out my streaming channel. It, we almost have 200 subs there. Once we get there, I, I, I want to do something a little different on there, but go check it out. The link will be in the description below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified of my next video. That's about it. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. And you know what? Wash everything else too, okay? You know, all, all body parts matter. <laughs> Hashtag. I don't think this is the right time for that. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Eat your cookies, and uh, bye. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. Even though I don't make no money. You've been there when the times get ugly. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. I'm a scrub, but you still love me.